Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals. This is Kelly. Kelly has an exposed spine with three signatures. She is 16 and a half centimeters wide, 24 centimeters high. Um, that would be six and a half inches by nine and a half inches. She has a spine of three centimeters, or just over one inch. Um, she is covered in collage, book page collage, and then painted and splattered on. There's some stamps on her, um, like postage stamps. And she's essentially the same on the back. with a little lost made out of faux scrabble tiles. So inside she has a pretty pink flower. This is one of those book flips. Book page flips. Everything flips up for a bit of extra journaling space. And tucked in behind it are uh, a couple of big journal cards. Alright, she has all sorts of book pages. This is from a calligraphy book. There's a bit of jelly printing, some doodling little bit of chronically dictionary page this just had a little a few bits of scraps pasted over the top so you can write a little just a bit of decoration this was an um, encyclopedia page that's just been covered so you can write on it well it's been covered on that side this side was clearly blank here's some of my washi use it up paper I uh, just use old book page, cover it with my old washi, and paste a napkin over the top. Just make something a bit interesting out of the old washi. You can see some of the very old paper underneath. A bit of collage there. Here's some trigonometry, just in case you want to brush up on your mathematics. I do not. <laughs> mathematics and I do not gel. Here's a little pocket made of a book page with just a couple of little journal cards tucked inside. Oh, journal tags, again, interchangeable. <laughs> a page from a shipping book. Another book page pocket altered puzzle piece in the corner there little decoration <laughs> there's a little journal card or journal tag and again here is a little booklet that just opens up and has a couple of little pieces of ephemera tucked in child's playing card there and just a piece of book page that was covered in um, napkin and uh, a bit of writing space on the back as pan from the paper out process doesn't always have to be complicated it can just be simple and beautiful <laughs> Is a page that was um, batch coffee dyed and they sort of stuck together so you have a piece of one page a piece of a second page and it's stuck on a third page a bit more of that trigonometry and this 
got a that printly dictionary page. This is an old diary. Just a piece of page that's had napkin pasted over the top. A little mushroom napkin pulled a few pieces out of and some printouts of butterflies that actually came out of a book. And this piece of batch dyed paper, you can see the imprint of a tea bag on there. This is one of those big scrappy books. Just to give your journal some interest, there's quite a few little writing pages in there, so there's lots of journal space. And it just gives your journal a bit of interest when she's closed there's all these bits and pieces hanging out making you want to open it up and see what's going on inside a little bit of collage of paper and some velvet ribbon Some paper bag covered in a uh, metallic house paint. Quite pretty, very shiny. Here's a little pocket made of, uh, made out of a folded book page. And just a little card on the inside with some jelly printing and doodling, and a big envelope that's not stuck down, so you can either write on the inside or stick it closed and pop in your own little goodies. Have somewhere to store them. It's another one of those little scrappy booklets. This one has very coffee dyed paper inside. <laughs> but it's, yes, that was one of the top pieces. So yeah, it's very coffee dyed and very oven dried. This was jelly printing with acrylic paint and stencils and ink. Some music page. Another little dictionary page. Another piece of that calligraphy book. This has such interesting drawings and such beautiful writing. paper. This is some of the batch dyeing. You can see some bleed through from other pages. <gasps> A pocket with nothing in it. Unacceptable. <laughs> we all know how unacceptable that is. <laughs> Let us fix this issue immediately. little bits and pieces. There you are. A piece of old reproduction ephemera, which is not going to fit in that way. So we'll fold it this way. A little journaling card. And just a little tag with a couple of little present cutouts. So it's a little gift in that pocket for you. And there we go, that's the end of Callie. She has on her back inside cover a envelope flip. There's a little bit of paper, just coffee dyed in there. A couple of little tags in this little envelope. Just a card that's been batch dyed and had some stamping on it. And some little journal papers inside this envelope. And tucked in behind this is a big journal card and some recipes from an old magazine. I do not know how old, but yes, I do not 
think there's a date on there, but yeah, it's quite old. So there we have it. That is Callie. I hope you enjoyed meeting her. Uh, she is available on my Etsy store right at the moment. Um, if you would like to pop along and have a look, there's in my shop bio a link to copy and paste into your browser which will take you to some free digitals if you are interested in that kind of thing and um, yeah I hope you find something there that you enjoy this has been Kelly we have enjoyed seeing you here today and uh, we'll see you again next time thanks bye